Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, we hope you will return tomorrow. This <laughs> Why morning? did they say like that? I don't know. We're starting the day off early with a COVID-19 test. And Sarah came with me this time. Yeah. It'll be Sarah's first test. It'll be my first test. We're taking extra precautions before. Before we go see before we all go the see family the in Chicago. Illinois. I'm just, it's just a good, it's like a term. Like, <laughs> we're not going to Chicago, it's just. Well, look at this, aren't we super fancy and cool? Both, both business people just, Sarah's editing the vlog. I'm getting my workday started. I'm not showing you my screen because hashtag confidentiality. This is the closest Peter's ever been, like, like upon arrival. Yeah, so we got our car marked. So that's like the, the marker for just the COVID test. And there's two of us. And um, we're like six cars back. So I, I'm definitely confident we'll be out, of, we'll be done before 9 a.m., which is great because we got to get home and like work. Yeah. <laughs> Looking good though. All right, so they just came by and gave us the paperwork. This has the information on our results. Looks like four days. What, um, like our information fill out, and then it looks like a survey. Yeah, it's a little survey. Wow. I bamboozled Sarah. <laughs> I was tricked. So the past <laughs> three times I've been to no, that. I think the past two soon, times. Oh, yeah. Past two times I've been there, it's been a really nice, delicate little nasal swab, like eight seconds, eight seconds, and like. His doesn't... first time was the throat jab, which was still brutal, but. Then we just got with no warning, and they went to Sarah's window first. <laughs> the ominous back, back of, the, of nose. the nose. Great. And I didn't know oh they did gosh. it in both nostrils. And yeah, that was. We. I think it was. It was more that we weren't <laughs> expecting it because I was. She was like, okay, just like. Bring your bring your head as close as you can, and full on. That was that was intense. And Peter watched and then had to like anticipate that he was getting it next. We had to get some gas, but now we're on our way home. I actually finished the vlog while we were there, and Peter got a lot of work done. So a plus productive morning. So we are home. We are watching on the trail. Road to the 2020, Road. <laughs> Road to the 2020 primaries. primaries. And I'm about to do something super, super duper important, and that is register us to be able to vote by mail for both the Florida primary that's happening later in August, August 18th, and also the election in the fall, in November, because I am due like within a week of election day, and there's just the risk that we are going to be in the hospital then. And so for both of these of very important elections, we are not going to be, we could potentially not be able to vote in person. The reason for the primaries in August is that's when we are going to be home for our baby shower. Um, so I'm gonna go do that. We also wanted to encourage you to look into um, how you might need to have to go about registering to vote by mail, especially with the um, the coronavirus very much so a reality in our country. And so if you forgot that you have to do that or that you want to do that or that that might stop you from voting, go stop watching this video and look it up now. Google. Good afternoon, everybody. We got Harry Potter going on over here. And I'm actually, I had the thought, I was like, you know what, at some point in life, I'm going to be back in an office. So why not, with my blackout curtains on, hang out in here for a while and just work from my room in my comfy, cozy bed while I'm running programs, because today I'm like building a lot of resorts in our systems, and that takes a lot of tedious time, but I've built some programs to do it in an automatic fashion, but I have to like monitor them. So it's kind of like super important, super busy work, but it has to be monitored, and I, it kind of eats up my machine. Yeah, and I have like ambient Harry Potter snow Diagon Alley music on YouTube because I just want to go to Diagon Alley. Why do I always have the urge to go to Universal when I can't go to Universal? She did it. 
She did it. She just had some leftover pasta. Yeah, Peter accidentally ate, um... I didn't accidentally Too eat. much asparagus. Hold on. Let me explain myself. I wanted to make a little lunch snack, so I made a burrito that had asparagus and spinach in it. And little fact about Peter Burkhart is even though I am a plant-based eating person, spinach actually tears up my stomach. But it's gotten better since we've gone plant-based. But I guess because I had uncooked asparagus and the spinach, I don't know, it's like doing a number. I made ginger tea. I'm trying to calm it. So Sarah's eating dinner without me. I'm just going to eat something later. That was the first time Eve's ever jumped on the rocking chair. And she freaked out. Oh, the, one of the girls from Signs is from New Girl. Um, so we're just kind of hanging out Sarah's eating we're watching signs I'm actually going to end up having my program run all night because it takes a long time to run so it's been running for about 5 hours now I'll probably run it for another 5 or 6 hours until the late evening hopefully finish what I need to do um, so I don't hold up my teammates in my department tomorrow um, but there's some new movie I, I don't. I have a beef with streaming services there's like too many of them now, and I don't mean that in like a bad way, but it's like, I don't know if like, each streaming service is like their own production house now, and they've got like the newest and greatest movie that they're putting out. And for instance, like on HBO Max, this new movie called The American Pickle, or Pickled American, came out today. It's a Seth Rogen movie that looks really good. We're going to watch it tonight, but like I had no idea that it came out until today, and I just was scrolling HBO. But like I've noticed that about like having like an HBO Max or a Hulu or a Disney Plus or a Netflix or an Amazon Prime, like they all like have their exclusive like awesome movie, but there's not like traditional commercial advertising anymore. I don't know, but I'm pumped for this Seth Rogen movie. It looks looks good. It's getting a little rainy, thundery lightning out, and Sarah, since we got up super early, is gonna take a little rest. Take a rest. I'm just gonna watch some Solomon TV on YouTube. Right now it's Courtney DeWalter and she's kinda of freaking out right now. Oh it is coming down. Three hours later. So I lay down for that rest and I woke up three hours later in the Twilight Zone. <laughs> like it feels like the middle of the night. I don't know what day it is, what time it is. <sighs> but I'm awake. I ate a Pop-Tart. Mm. And now we're watching New Girl. And probably, I like, woke up just in time for Peter to leave to go on a run. Um, did you know that the Ford Fusion, the car that we have, is one of the main sponsors of New Girl? And they like drop subtle hints about it all the time. But I always like that connection we have. Got good news and bad news. The good news is my tattoo is at like a scabbiest state. I thought you're not supposed to let it get scabby. Well, like I think it has to get to some degree. But there's some, like one of the stars is almost all the way healed it looks like. And parts of the bars are too. So we're getting there. And now I'm going to go run, and I'm scared it's going to be extremely humid because it stopped raining like 30 minutes ago. Here, this has been your close upward angle shot of Peter's head. I just did a really close upward angle shot of my face from like right oh, here. Oh, we didn't even plan it. No, we didn't. Next, you need a close up shot of Eve's face. Did I just sound like a witch? You did. Here's Evie's awkward close up, and it's... It's the cutest of them all. Does anybody make lists on envelopes? I do understand this is quite wasteful because the envelope that you like paid for <laughs> is never going to be used for its purpose, but I feel like envelopes were always accessible at my house and I don't know if my mom just did it and then I did it, um, but it's the perfect size for list making. And so I always use envelopes for lists. Anywho, this light is kind of crazy. Um, but we do leave a week from tomorrow. And so that list, I'm just starting to get my like plan situated, our meal situated for the rest of the week, basically to see if we need to go grocery shopping 
even just like for lunchy stuff, I think I have all of our dinners planned out. Um, so that's good. I don't think that we explained why we pointed out that we are going to Cook County next week and not Chicago. And that is because our family actually lives in a small town like next to Chicago, like literally like across the street. And right now, if you visit Chicago, you have to do a 14 day quarantine. If you visit Cook County, they still suggest you do a 14 day quarantine upon arrival, but it's more of um, a suggestion or a guideline. It's not like they can find you. And obviously the intention for this trip is to go for a shower. Um, we will most likely be at my mom's most of the time we will be visiting some other people who aren't going to be at the shower um but we're not going to be able to like fully quarantine i mean if we stay at my mom's but we have a party like that's just like beside like that's counterintuitive um the party's outside there's actually not really even going to be a lot of people there it's a fairly small shower again we're just like grateful we can have a party at all and again it's gonna be like we're kind of setting the boundaries for our guests and whatever our guests are comfortable with is kind of how we're going about doing it um so yeah that is why we will not have like our typical downtown shenanigans we are going to be super safe while we travel um come in contact with minimal amounts of people it's our first time going to chicago this year we only saw um some family once and so it's just crazy that the next time we see them after this trip we'll have a baby just never how we imagined this year going um but hey we're taking it for what it's worth even though the circumstances are not ideal we are the ones that are pulling out all of the stops to make sure um, that this important event that we've been waiting years to have can happen as safely as possible um, but again if you're a little bit confused earlier when we like distinguish the two it's because the rules are a little bit different outside of actual Chicago and I mean things could change in the next week um, but yeah that's our plan low-key trip but for a high key reason is high key a thing who doesn't watch the godfather at 1 a.m on a thursday i don't because i put it on still building resorts over here still having the sweetest dreams over here daily message there is no passion to be found in settling for a life that is less than the one you are capable of living nelson mandela things are great beautiful tomorrow i'm tired I am too, you know why. I, you know when you nap and you feel like you wake up and it's the middle of the night? Like I feel like Twilight Zone, so. so now it's the morning for you. Cause you woke up and it's been I a few hours. I can totally sleep more. So hopefully I'll feel better when I wake up. Yeah. I'll feel like normal. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Oh, tomorrow's Friday. Ooh. We should do something fun. It's our anniversary Eve. We should do something fun. Like what? Eat know. ice cream? Put a comment down below what we should do. We have to be quarantined. But put a comment down below what we, we should, should do. Fun. tie dye some shirts. <laughs> we know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>